Disney's expensive and it's crowded. Let's talk today about the cheapest times to visit Disney and finding that lowest crowd level when you get there. Let's get started. Welcome back to Fun Fiero. I'm Andy. I'm Liz. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about the lowest crowd levels and the cheapest times to go to Walt Disney World. However, there are some trade-offs to be considered, which we will go over later in the video. But right now, let's just dive right in. The first time slot we're going to talk about is right after New Year's Day, ending about 10 days into February. And then there's usually another slight dip at the very beginning of March. Um, and those ticket prices and resort value hotels are really good. And they're also going to be the coolest times of the year to Very go true. as well. So if you're trying to beat the Florida heat, consider those times of the year. Now, if you're looking for kind of more of that spring feel, but you're still trying to save some money and you're on a tight budget when going to Disney World, consider going maybe the second or even third week of May, because that's going to be right before Memorial Day and you'll find some great deals then as well. Also, consider this. This is going to be right before the big ramp up for summer. So the crowd levels are still going to be pretty low or moderate at that time. This time slot actually may surprise you, but kind of that second week in August, all the way through like the first week we could have in September, not including Labor Day, those are some great deals to be had there because people are sending their kiddos back to school and they don't travel as much. Yeah, and not only are the crowd levels low, but guys, if you're looking for more like an adults only trip, there's gonna be less kiddos, but also the water parks are still open. It's still a nice time of year if you're looking for that more outdoor water park pool fun. You always need to keep in mind holidays, all right? Because even if you don't get that holiday off, but somebody else observes it, you can see a spike in crowd levels that you may not be expecting. Yeah, and also anytime that you can avoid the weekend and you can go during the weekdays, you're gonna not only save money, but you're gonna see lower crowd levels then as well. So I know we're talking about the lowest crowd levels and the cheapest time of year to go to Walt Disney World. Here's the thing though, that doesn't mean that you have to completely forfeit going during a holiday season. In mm -hmm. fact, from like a couple days after Thanksgiving to like the first 10 days-ish of December, you can actually go during the holiday season, have the lower crowd levels, have a lower pricing for the holiday season, even though it's a little elevated from the normal off times of the year. Yeah, you still get all those great Christmas decorations and that's the best time at Disney. All right, guys, we're coming up on those trade-offs that we talked about earlier, but before we get there, hit that like button and also subscribe for Disney and fun content. And let's go ahead and ding that notifications bell. That way YouTube's gonna let you know every time we go live, we put out a short or a video. What are the trade-offs or cons to traveling during the lowest crowd levels and cheapest times of the year to Walt Disney World? Well, you've got to know yourself. If December and January are gonna to be too cold for you to do water rides or water parks, that may not be the best time to go. Yeah, and plus Disney is gonna do all their scheduled maintenance on refurbishments, on rides and attractions, so keep that in mind as well. If it's not peak season, those hours at the park may be shorter. And there may be fewer buses and longer wait times between buses, monorails, and even ferry boats. So those trade-offs may not worry you. Know yourself, know what's gonna make a great vacation, and make the best decision for you and your family. Disney does have some great value resorts that can help you save money. We're gonna link a video of a comparison between the Art of Animation and the Pop Century Value Resorts. Go check it out. And thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Until next time, get out there, have some fun, and, and we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the flip, flip side. side.